Hi loves, welcome to my channel. I just got back inside from, uh, I went to brunch and I stopped off at Bath and Body Works. <laughs> so it's raining outside right now and my hair is a little bit bigger and shrunken a little bit. This is a six day old twist out, but um, I'm not gonna ramble. I'm just gonna jump right into the video. Um, so I just wanted to quickly come on here and share my top 10 natural hair don'ts. I'm looking down because I wrote them all down so I wouldn't forget anything. Um, as far as my hair goes really quick, I will try to post a separate video on what I do when I actually style my hair on wash day and how I maintain it throughout the week. So I maintain my hair without rebraiding or retwisting at night change my life y'all i will share that with you another time <laughs> all right so i'm just gonna jump right into the video so top 10 natural hair don'ts number one don't believe that wash day is the devil now i know you might see a lot of our natural hair sisters out there complaining about wash day wash day is not easy it's not it's a challenge but it's also not the devil it's not the enemy and maybe we just have to find ways to make wash day more um a little bit easier on us or a little bit more fun like i try to make my wash days uh a spa day a relaxed day i try to do it on sundays um where i can just take a bubble bath you know, do my nails, watch my shows, catch up on all my shows and stuff because now this is the age of where everybody's watching Netflix, we're on YouTube, right? And um, we have a fire sticks, all kinds of stuff. So that's the day that I try to do those kind of things, all the self-care stuff. And it actually, for me, it makes doing my hair a lot easier. When I'm catching up on my shows, I, you know, I just do my hair sitting down on the couch have all my products lined up and I'm done so you know it's the the mentality that you go into it with because a lot of my friends have confessed that they don't they don't deep condition their hair as much as they should so that means they're not doing wash days as much as they should because they feel like it's such a daunting task so all in your mindset right so change the way you think about wash day and make wash day fun for you whatever that means and you'll realize that it's not the enemy all right um number two don't compare your hair or yourself to other naturalistas i can't stress this enough if you just went natural if you're transitioning if you've been natural and you realize that your hair isn't growing as quick as your friend's hair is growing don't worry about it. Like your crown is specifically tailor-made for your head, right? It's your glory on your head. Um, if you compare yourself to other people, and I feel like with this social media age, that's a very dangerous thing. Fall in love with your own curls, your own hair, and just try to find all the things that you love about yourself. When I was transitioning, I fell in love with my new growth. I Every time I would wash my hair, I'd be like, oh my gosh, look at that. And I'll be on YouTube because YouTube saved my life. I cut off all my relaxed hair and I was like, okay, um, what do I do with this now? Um, yeah, and YouTube, I found so many videos that helped me uh, learn how to maintain my hair, how to style my hair, different things. So YouTube was a lifesaver, but don't let it be the opposite where you find these beautiful naturalistas with these long glorious curls and you're like looking at your curls like what your hair will grow hair always grows you just have to be consistent take care of it but don't pay too much attention to it you know hair is hair it will grow there are a lot of naturalistas here on youtube that had chopped all their hair off i believe Nat naturals 85 she's one of them if you go on her channel and you go like way back you'll see she had chopped all her hair off girl all of it girl and her hair grows and so let that be an inspiration to you it, it takes time you know it's not gonna grow overnight it takes time and you just want to focus on health not length if you focus on your health the health of your hair the length will come so Okay, number three, don't be a natural hair dictator. So what do I mean by that? 
don't be one of those natural girls that you know you tell everybody else what to do with their hair right it is a personal preference it is a choice everyone does with their own head of hair what they want to do i for myself i feel that being natural is a lifestyle choice and it is a community and i feel like it's a community that is about sisterhood and if you become a dictator then you kind of take that that feeling of love inclusion and sisterhood out of it and why would somebody that's natural or that's not natural rather somebody that is relaxed why would they want to become natural if they feel excluded before they even make the choice or be, begin to start to transition right so you just want to be about love and inclusion and and about sisterhood so number four don't think that going natural or being natural will not affect your personal or your professional life. So don't think that going natural is not gonna affect you at work or at home. What do I mean by that, right? So when I was going natural, um, I was up for a promotion and I was very concerned about it because um, no one, I was straight, I was relaxed and my hair was colored and no one had ever seen my natural curls and I was worried. I didn't know how people were going to take it. And this is something that a lot of people don't really talk about, right? They say, if you don't accept me, then you're wrong. But the truth is, a lot of people don't accept our beautiful hair. Or they feel uncomfortable. Or they're not really sure what's going on. And it's a matter of educating people um, over time. But, you know, it does affect you at work. You got to know where you work at. I'm listen we're rocking our curls regardless right but you have to be ready for that aspect of going natural don't think that it's going to happen without any change curiosity questions and things like that when i first cut off my my relaxed hair i <laughs> told my husband and he was very supportive at the time right um i had this like a twa and later on when my hair started to grow out he told me how he really felt girl he said all he could think about was why did she do that why did she cut off all her beautiful hair and i was like is that how you really felt but he felt some type of way he loves my hair now but he did feel some type of way and he chose to be supportive but i know that there are some partners out there that are not supportive of our change but it's not about them right it's about us it's about what we want to do with our hair so just be ready for those changes and make sure that you are choosing this lifestyle because it's what you want to do, not because it's what anybody else wants to do. So tip number five, don't think that your hair doesn't have a free spirit. So don't think that <laughs> natural hair, <sighs> natural hair does what it wants. It is curly, it is crazy, it is beautiful, it is unruly, and a lot of times I pray to God that my twist outs and my braid outs will be right um, in the morning when I'm on vacation and stuff. Um, but you have to, when you style your hair at night, you have to take it with a grain of salt because natural hair does what it wants. It's a free spirit. Um, and I think like once you embrace that, it'll be okay. Like it'll show but if you're always stressing about how your hair looks how it's going to turn out the next day then you're just going to be stressed out all the time but um <laughs> just know that your hair is a free spirit has its own free spirit embrace that embrace your curls and it'll it'll be okay so number six don't neglect your hair while it's in a protective style now I, especially when I first cut off my relaxed hair, I was all about protective styles, specifically Senegalese twists. They were my fave. They're still one of my favorite protective styles. But I cannot stress this enough. Do not, do not, do not neglect your natural hair while it is in a protective style. Don't, I know the feeling. You wake up in the morning, you don't gotta do nothing, you just take your twist all your braids down you quickly style them or you leave them alone and you're out the door right um you have to moisturize your hair you have to spray it you have to oil your scalp you have to try to maintain it you have to cover it at night or sleep on a satin um pillowcase 
Protective styles can dry out your hair. Synthetic hair on top of your natural hair can absorb any moisture that you have in it. So it's important that you try to maintain that moisture and it's very important that you don't keep it in for too long. If you keep a protective style in for too long, it defeats the entire purpose. It starts to dry out your hair which will cause it to be brittle and cause it to break. So you want to be mindful of that. Number seven, don't avoid shampoo altogether. I'm all about that co-washing life, y'all, okay? But at least once a month, you need to shampoo your scalp. You have to cleanse and take away all the buildup, all the product that can be clogging your hair follicles on your scalp. You don't want to do that. You want to make sure that you maintain your moisture by deep conditioning and co-washing for the rest of the month. But at least once a month, you have to shampoo, okay? Number eight don't be afraid to trim your end i recently trimmed my own ends and you can go to a professional if you don't feel comfortable trimming your own ends but you have to trim your ends off as needed i'm not going to give you a time because everyone is different um and you you have to see what's going on with your own hair but you have to trim off dead ends because if you don't you're defeating the whole purpose, you're not going to retain length. That split end is going to keep traveling up the shaft of the hair and it's going to make it, you're going to have to cut it shorter and shorter. So don't be afraid to cut your dead ends off because hair always grows back. And if you keep that attitude and you won't really worry about it, you see your hair will grow back longer in no time. Okay, number nine, don't get caught up in all the natural hair vitamins out there. Now, I am okay with vitamins, you know, I do have some hair vitamins in my medicine cabinet, but I really haven't taken them in a long time. Why? Because um, I am eating a lot healthier these days and um, at some point I'm going to post some, some videos about that. I'm a pescatarian now, I do not eat um, most meats, I do eat seafood and veggies, fruits, grains. Um, some dairy, not all, and I'll get into that when I post those videos, but I feel like if you're eating what you're supposed to be eating and you're putting into your body what you're supposed to be putting into your body, then you don't need all those vitamins. So your body can only absorb um, a certain amount of nutrients like minerals and vitamins. So if you're eating right and you're taking vitamins, or even if you're taking vitamins and you're taking way too many, you basically end up with really expensive urine. Because your body's gonna expel the rest and that's just what it is. So if you eat right, don't get caught up in all the hype of, oh you gotta have this hair vitamin and that hair vitamin is gonna make my hair grow overnight. Just eat right and drink plenty of water. And last but not least, number 10, don't neglect the maintenance of your hair tools your hair tools, right? Just like your makeup brushes, just like the clothes you wear. Um, anything that you have, you have to maintain it, right? Your hair tools, whether it's the clips you put in your hair, your combs, your brushes, anything you use on your hair, your rollers, you have to wash them. You have to keep them clean because over time they're going to have product buildup and you're just putting that buildup back in your hair so you want to make sure that you wash your hair tools yeah so that's about it i really 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 hope <laughs> that this video will be helpful to someone and that you know your curls grow long and strong and healthy and if you're new to my channel just hit that subscribe button and the alert so that you know every time i post a video and if you are already a subscriber then i thank you for coming back and I thank you so, so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.